Hi, Sean here with Rise TV here at the Trinov stand. David, would you be able to introduce us to the booth? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to ISE 2024. Um, we're lucky to have a, a wonderful partners this year. So we've got Officina Acoustica, who provide all the room and the acoustics for the uh, for the demonstration. We have Barco providing the projection, and uh, we have Trinov providing all of the uh, sound processing, and of course, Crix from Australia providing all of the loudspeakers and subwoofers. There's a constant battle for sound acoustics. Um, how far along is Trinov and waveforming with this battle? Yeah, it, it's it's an interesting battle. I mean, in 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 my opinion, there's really no replacement for passive acoustics. Um, we can only aid what passive acoustics struggles with. So with bass, you need lots of uh, bulky. Uh, it takes up a lot of space to to really absorb sound waves at these low frequencies. And by having an active cancellation system, we basically have a tunable acoustics system. So yeah, it's not the it's not the the complete answer to everything, but certainly in the in the frequencies where it's most difficult, um, active acoustics is a real game changer. What impact do you hope uh, waveforming will have on the work of technicians and integrators? Yeah, I mean the good thing about uh, a system like waveforming is it puts the control back into the integrator's hands because it's a physics first design up approach. It's not a here's the system I've got, I'm going to do the best with it. It is, we will tell you exactly where to place the, the subwoofers for maximum performance. So from that perspective, it gives integrators a lot of flexibility um, with uh, pricing structures because, you know, we can we can go from a higher level of performance down to a, a, a lower level, although it's still very high. Um, but that's the real benefit for the integrators. And how far along do you feel that you are where the physical parameters of a space will less significantly be impacted on the overall acoustics I, and the performance? I think that's what we've achieved. Um, you know, we've removed the, the modal response from what we term as small rooms. And that, you know, from back in the 80s with Floyd Tool's work and, uh, you know, uh, all of these, these pioneers, we're now into a new era um, where we're solving the problem rather than mitigating the problem. Um, and that is, that is the job of waveforming. That's what it does.